if you're interested in signing up for Salt Mine 3 and participating, uh, just giving it a go, doesn't matter what level you are, then you're welcome to do so. But for now, it's time for another episode of Zen vs Moxie. Zen was the dominant player early on in the rivalry. Since then, Moxie has answered back and taken full control of it. And he's on a bit of a win streak right now against Zen, who has so far struggled to produce the same level as he did in the first stage of the competition. He hasn't looked as confident with his aerial game. First Zen's an extremely well-rounded player, so he doesn't need to be popping off in the air to be world-class. And of course, that's what everybody wants to see from him, especially now that we're into the playoffs and we're into an elimination match in the playoffs. The loser of this is out of the competition. The winner will be advancing to play against Rawas. But Moxie, likewise, didn't have his best group stage. Uh, he also didn't have a great group stage in stage one of the competition. A nice air dribble bump there by Zen. Clatters Moxie into the goal to tie us up 1-1. But Moxie, when he gets into the playoffs, can become a different beast. Will he be able to elevate again to that different level that had him completely stomping the competition on the final day in Stage 1? Where he swept Naipo, swept Zen, and made it look pretty easy. It's just something about Moxie when he can pop off. No one can really match him in the ground game. No one can match his speed. And it's also been a bit of a problem for everybody to match him in the kickoff game as well. Zen's been bringing delayed kickoffs to the table a few times in this tournament. That time he didn't need one, just wins straight up. Now threatens the demo. Oh, beautiful pop. <laughs> what a controlling touch that is by Zen. To threaten an immediate shot on target like this and also threaten a demo beforehand is just spectacular. Zen in full control there. Moxie flops on the post. In this best of five, it will be Zen who needs, I think, a strong start, or he's going to be down and out of it mentally. And he couldn't stop that kickoff pressure play. Moxie makes it 3 2. He's just so quick with this uh, wave dash recovery. I think the earlier, the better for Zen to try and delay a kickoff at some point, fake a kickoff. Try and get Moxie out of this zone that he's in, where he just perfectly wave dashes after every small, perfectly lands on the ball to set up the wave dash, I should say. Obviously, the wave dash is pretty automatic for him. The setup is something he's been able to do at a different level. Oh, Zen's running, and he escapes <laughs> from the demo, which would have surely resulted in a goal for Moxie. Now Zen with an air dribble from distance. He's got some catching up to do, and he can't catch up to the ball. Also misses the boost. Big mistakes there by Zen. Moxie counters straight down the middle. He's failed his top corner flick also. So Zen with a failed aerial play. Moxie with a failed flick. Not what we've come to expect from this matchup. And Moxie still makes it 4-2. With a beautiful conversion off the back wall. That's a perfect turn. Lovely catch as well. Look at what he does in the setup there. To dodge onto the wall while also playing the ball middle to himself at the same time. Another kickoff possession for Moxie. Zen still unable to really get Moxie out of his groove. This is bad news for Zen fans because you know what Moxie does when he's in these kind of positions. You know where it's going, but it doesn't matter. Top left. And that time all he needed was a simple side flip. Just flawless grind play by Moxie as usual. But does Zen have other kickoff strats planned here. So far, he's kind of just doing the same thing over and over again, and Moxie's adapted to that. I mean, it's it's up to the player who's using normal kickoffs. That's a misplay by Moxie, though. He just leaves the ball and goes for boost when he shouldn't. And I was going to say, it's up to the player who's using standard kickoffs to adapt, because if the player who's jumping into the ball and then wave dashing, if they can perfectly read what the opponent is doing, they will have a speed advantage in the following play. It's up to Zen to be the player who's adapting, forcing Moxie out of position. Well, this is a lot better for him. It's actually going to be both players using that wave dash recovery to their advantage, and Moxie own goaling, being forced to own goal, after accidentally jumping past the ball. Another attempted wave dash recovery by Zen. It looks like he's bouncing off the ball a bit more than Moxie is, though, not the cleanest setup there. 
Beautiful ceiling challenge though by Zen. Denies Moxie the first attack here, and now Moxie circles back and goes for it with the flip reset. Another ceiling challenge by Zen. He might actually shoot off the back of this. Oh, Zen. Always a dangerous player in these positions. Moxie times the mid boost respawn. Has to concede possession while he picks it up though. Zen's fl flip reset wasn't really on option for him there. As he lost control of the ball. This time Zen flying in front of the ball. Not really coming close to landing an air dribble bump onto Moxie. It's strange to see Zen two plays in a row there. Losing control of the ball. Just ever so slightly. I mean, he still had some attack going, but it's not the usual aerial dominance that we've come to expect from Zen. Now Moxie with a perfect line of attack. Challenges the ball. Plays for the rebound across the net, but he's actually just giving Zen a free counter attack with that one. Zen picks up mid boost. Had a flip reset on Moxie's car. Didn't even need it. It's 5-5. Five -five. That's Moxie. Runs a bit too far away from the ball. Maybe Zen didn't have a flip reset on Moxie's car there. Either way, he decided to just play the shot high and pass Moxie. That's a three goal comeback by Zen. In a game where neither player has looked their best, Moxie trying to work another kickoff goal in target, and he does. So far, Zen's attempt to counter Moxie's wave dash recovery kickoff has been to use one of his own, but it doesn't look as consistent, to be completely honest with you guys. Most of the times that he's tried this, he's hit the ball slightly awkwardly and bounced off of it, whereas Moxie's more glued to the ball, with more refined technique. Zen shuts down Moxie's dribble before the top left flick can be threatened, but Moxie perfectly absorbs the challenge and bangs it in the bottom corner afterwards. Great control by Moxie there. Dropping the ball in front of him at the perfect time. Zen gonna have a very hard time dispossessing Moxie, it seems. But who doesn't? Moxie with another kickoff possession. Delayed flick, and of course it's in. Zen tried lunging in the last one. Didn't work, he tries shadowing in this one. That doesn't work either. What on earth is he going to do to try and stop Moxie from getting into the sweet spot where his flicks are unstoppable? Moxie denies another side boost, but Zen's got a wall shot, which Moxie won't be able to retreat for. Great shot by Zen. Moxie stole the boost away from him, but in doing so, he left himself out of position and out of momentum. Still, I've got to keep saying it though. Oh, I was just about to say, I haven't seen any delayed kickoffs from Zen, and now we see one. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I, that's what I think he should be doing early in the game to try and get Moxie out of this kickoff um, streak that he's on. So it's clear that Moxie's very comfortable right now with this kickoff game. Now Zen's delayed one time. That's a great bounce for Zen to work with. Well finished off to get within one goal. And luckily for Zen, he's kept this one close. Even though he hasn't had the kickoff game going his way, he's kept it close. And now maybe at the end of the game, that one fake will mess with Moxie's momentum. Oh, great call there by Moxie, though. It doesn't look like Zen's going to have anything to work with here. Zen was, of course, threatening a play on the ball there, but Moxie just played it before Zen could even think about it. Zen left stranded once again, watching the ball fly straight into his net. But do notice though that Moxie didn't go for a wave dash recovery kickoff there. That one delayed kickoff by Zen made Moxie think twice about going for that play on future kickoffs. Zen's bounced off the ball. Moxie's going to dribble it away from him. Just too much control. It's a, definitely a mistake there by Zen to flop at the ball like that. Not a solid hitbox. Not a strong 50-50 at all. Moxie's put 10 goals past him. He's still got time to add more to that tally. He nearly did. With the pinch, it's actually bouncing very close to the goal. Zen sees it's off target, though. Moxie looking to control the ball. He almost own goals, though. It's still well covered, though, by Moxie. He knows that this late in the game, it's still a threat for Zen to come back, and he's not going to give him any chances. All it takes, as we know, when Moxie's on the pitch is one goal, and then a kickoff goal, and a zero-second goal. 
So the hotly contested rivalry is Moxie up by one. Huge possession advantage on the next rank post game stats. Use the exclamation mark TNR in Twitch chat or scroll down to the YouTube description if you want to find the link for the next rank.com. A Rocket League course coming soon, brought to you by myself and apparently Jack. Um, and in the meantime, while you're waiting for the course to launch, you're going to be uh, able to join the email list for the next rank.com where we're sending unlisted videos uh, that we've been recording every week. And uh, yeah, I think you guys, if you're interested in RLE sports, if you're interested in high level 1v1, you're uh, definitely going to want to check them out because apparently Jack and I love to go in depth on all kinds of Rock League topics related to improving your own game. Let's take a look at the bracket. We've also got uh, Matira versus Khaled happening right now. So be sure to check that one out um, on James Bot's stream. And it's Khaled who takes the first game over there. So Khaled looking for revenge. It was Vatira who eliminated him from stage one. And now it's Khaled up by one in uh, a best of five there as well. Game two, Zen. Did not adapt until too late in the first game to Moxie's ever dominant wave dash recovery kickoff. So Moxie starts off with a big kickoff possession in game two as well. A bit more sideways, but he's setting up the grind pinch, which Moxie couldn't fire before Zen arrived. Zen tried to pass to himself here, but Moxie's got it covered. Look at Moxie threatening the infield dribble. That denies Zen the boost steal. Lovely dodge into position though by Zen. Very creative there. And a nice shot to go up 1-0 also. That was a very creative um, dodge to set up the challenging angle by Zed. And that's something that you need to do against Moxie. You have to find ways to get into positions to challenge early because when you're challenging late, you have absolutely no chance of stopping flicks from a player who is just so good at them. And Zen gonna try and assert his authority early on this position. That's much better. Looks like Moxie still got it past him though. Gained some distance, but Zen's closed that distance. A couple of successful entries into No Man's Land there from Zen. And now he's beaten Moxie to the follow up and goes up 2 0. This is much, much better from Zen. A few successful challenges in a row in Moxie's ground game. Gonna help him out with his confidence. Moxie, one of the most explosive players in the scene right now. One of the most explosive players ever in the history of 1v1. If there's one player that can create a volatile game, create a comeback opportunity, it would be him. Here's Zen with an air dribble dunk. Moxie's deflected it wide. Tries to bump Zen away from the boost seal. Zen still has time to go for it. And now the perfect takeoff by Zen. This is more like the aerial control we expect from him, but Moxie deflects another air dribble dunk wide of the target. And Zen has to try again. Perfect top corner shot though. Makes it 3-0 for Zen. Great control. Great patience for Zen with his attack. I'm sure it was tempting to go all in there with his final aerial play. But he had the shot and the recovery planned. And it's Moxie's defense that crumbles. Zen thriving in game two. This is Moxie in his best position though, and this time it's a top right corner flick to give him his first goal in the game. I mean, is there anyone who converts a kickoff possession like Moxie does? Absolutely terrifying. With every variation of flicks that you can get in the game. That's a big kickoff win by Zen though. He's gonna get back to it very quickly. Zen 4-1. That's a rare sight. Moxie on the receiving end of a kickoff loss. Zen just completely went through him there. Great hit. Moxie having to settle for more back corner kickoff possessions in this game. It has more back corner possessions in general than the first game. You know, just like Drally, who was on stream before this, Moxie is quite happy to concede the midfield doesn't matter who he's playing against as long as he's got possession but he's not had possession in this game it's been mostly Zen's no recovery for Zen on that play leaves Moxie with some alone time in the open net no mistakes Moxie hits it straight in
Moxie trying to manage his boost effectively here. Zen calls his bluff though. Looks for the pass to himself off the near post. Moxie cuts it off. It's been a better game for Zen, but still doesn't feel like a comfortable matchup for him right now. Feels like we're playing Moxie's game at the moment. Oh, what a flick by Zen though. If you're gonna take Moxie on in the ground game, you better bring your best. And that flick is gonna be just as difficult to save as any you see from Moxie today. Crazy control by Zen in the setup to flick it from that high up in the air. And again, he's gone straight over the top of Moxie's wave dash recovery kickoff. This is really interesting to see by Zen. Very promising to see from him as well. He was struggling in game one to come up with an effective counter. It seems like in game two, he just started jumping way higher into the ball and pushing the ball over Moxie. It's up to Moxie to adapt. Jump higher into the ball himself if he wants to stop Zen from forcing it over him like that. Both players extremely low on boost right now. Zen has half a chance here and he takes it. Moxie was looking for the bump from behind. Zen jumped clean over it blind. And a big goal gap starting to open up as Zen looks better in the matchup than he did in the past five games against Moxie. In the past five games against Moxie, Zen's been on the losing end. 4-0 in the grand final of stage one. One game loss earlier today as well. Now he has a foothold and it's not been with the standard Zen style. Just taking the ball to the wall and forcing the aerial battle. He's taking Moxie on in the ground game here. He's making it work. Big challenge by Zen. Uses his own crossbar to pinch the ball way clear. Look at the distance Zen got on that one. Moxie really having to circle wide to find any positions where Zen is vulnerable from. Another fake challenge success from Zen. This is so smart. Zen's just going to do what Moxie does to so many players. Dribble the ball around in defense. Well, he didn't dribble it around for too long, though. It's a ceiling shot from his own half. Oh, my word. What a goal by Zed. <laughs> Moxie calls next. And can you blame him? What a goal to send us into a tie series. Zen with authority gets back in the series and ties it up. I mean, we've seen plenty ceiling recoveries into goals by Zen in the in the recent past, but that one was special. He started that one off from his own back corner and it looked like it might have gone out of reach. He still got there. I mean, just truly unbelievable. Zen continues even in what I'm going to call for him a bad day for the aerial game. I mean, this tournament has not been his best when it comes to the aerial game. He can still shock the world. Let's take a look at the uh, bracket and see if we've got any more games from Vatira versus Khaled. Show it again. Yeah, we're, we're, we'll have to do that, actually. We'll have to go to highlights, of course. But yeah, it's 1-1 Vatira, uh, or it's rather 1-1 Zen Moxie. Still 1-0 for Khaled over Vatira. That match is currently being played on James Bot's stream. Uh, so be sure to tune in there. Like, sounds like overtime game two, Khaled really stepping up and uh, taking his game to the next level against Vatira as he tries to keep his bid for a top eight spot uh, open. Let's take a look at some of the highlights just very quickly there while uh, we wait for the next game. And it is 2-0 Khaled, oh my goodness. Well, we actually have to, we don't have time to go to highlights. Well, remind me to go to highlights after the next game. We don't have time because the next game is about to start. So after this game, we can look at highlights and we'll check out that Zen goal again as well as some other spectacular goals we've seen from these players. For now, it is 1-1. Zen handing Moxie the first loss that he's had in, the, in this matchup out of the last six games. Now Zen with a side wall double tap makes it 1-0 in game three. Zen might be back, ladies and gentlemen. That's bad news for Moxie. The stage one champion has to be a bit afraid after what he's just seen at the end of this game, or the end of the last game and the start of this one. That's a big bump onto Zen though. He's miles out of the game. Moxie sends Zen absolutely flying and buries a goal straight away. Oh, brilliant by Moxie. I mean, he just knew if he could flip, or if he could wave dash and flip into Zen, he's gonna go so far. 
It's the end of the slight delay in the kickoff there. These are all cumulative effects that can just mess with Moxie's timing a little bit. Moxie doesn't look entirely comfortable, still. Goes effectively for the ball and scores. So it did quite well there to, you know, make Moxie hesitate, but he didn't do anything with the hesitation. He just kind of sat there with the ball and after Moxie was done panicking, he uh, took the ball away for free. 2-1 to Moxie. Zen might have scored the prettier goals, but they're all worth one point on the board. Now Zen's got a record saying that he thinks Moxie's playstyle is annoying to go up against, but he does respect it. And I think, you know, there is a lot of respect between these two, despite the fact that they are fierce competitors. But Zen has to try and figure out a way to make his game work against Moxie's playstyle, which he finds annoying to go up against. Today he's done that, but still Moxie looks dangerous. Look at this from Zen. Oh my goodness, what a save by Moxie. He's recovered as well. That is perfect defense by Moxie. Zen with a flip reset bump attempt, and Moxie managed to dodge it. I mean, it's hard enough to dodge an air dribble bump, never mind when your opponent has a flip as well. That's Moxie, who answers back after Zen clips on him twice in a row. Zen looking for another clip, but not this time. Moxie on the counter attack with the delayed flick. Zen saves it off the inside of the post. Follow up shot, slow by Moxie. Zen threatening the immediate counter down the middle here. Moxie's taking away the small boost pads. And now he hits the ball into his own crossbar, threatens his double save. Zen still goes past him. And he's got a long time here, takes it, and scores. Both players really being pushed to the limit on that play. No boost for either of them, hardly. It looks like we will have a close series today. As, oh, wow, Moxie saw Zen's delayed kickoff, and he flipped away from the ball so as not to hit the ball into him. And it's not going to work, but that is a new one. I mean, it just shows you what kind of benefits you can get when you just delay a kickoff. Even a player as good as Moxie can end up in a position they're not familiar with. He saw Zen delay, tried to counter it by just not hitting the ball into Zen, but it didn't work. I mean, after that, Zen just still got position to play the ball. Strong 50 by Moxie at the near post goes through Zen. He's up by one again. It's that threat of the flick across the goal that forces Zen into a compromised position. Moxie squeezes it past him. You know, I really do hope that you guys are convinced now that, you know, just messing with the timing of your approach can work and it can do wonders for your game. Because that was something that's really all I asked for anyone to do against Moxie in Stage 1 when he was rolling through everyone and winning every single kickoff. That's a beautiful counter-attack by Moxie. Oh my word! <laughs> what a transition! Ceiling counter-attack by Moxie as he dodges the back wall demo and hits Zen with an angle he did not expect. It's still promising though for Zen that he is making Moxie think. Moxie is not going to be playing on autopilot right now. Just kick off, flick, kick off, flick. He has to think about what Zen is doing at all times because Zen has shown adaptations. Free flip by Zen. Gets the counter attack threat started. Moxie's back to keep it at bay. And his boost has been taken. Zen is in his face right now. Moxie's got such good boost management here. Perfect back corner control. This is a confident takeoff as well by Moxie. He's got a flip reset here. Free flips to shoot the ball straight at Zen. He counters with an aerial attack of his own. Late flip reset by Zen. Has to play it high into the bar. Can he get around this and shoot before Moxie gets back? No, he can't. Moxie saves it into the post. Still, Zen does have some time with the ball here. Moxie's giving him space. Air dribble bump lands, and Zen finds a way through. Very unusual there from Moxie. He's usually all over his opponents when they try to dribble the ball back like this. This time he went for the boost, and he kept giving Zen space. And Zen is one of the most scary players when given space and boost, and the ball to control. Failed flick by Moxie. Starting to fall off with the pressure of the elimination match right now. But it's a big bump at the other end. Moxie up by two again. Perfect revenge. 
Zane missed his chance. He could have taken the ball when Moxie missed his flick, but Moxie was just too quick to recover and go again. Zen with the opening. Can Moxie get back? No, he can't. Misplay by Moxie. Trying to pitch the ball to safety here. He got on the wrong side of it, just centered it for Zen. Another close game between two titans of the one scene, the grand finalists of stage one. Zen booms the ball into his own crossbar. Moxie's taking all the small boost pads away, though. That's a heavy first touch. Moxie looking for the double. Oh, he's just hit the inside of the post. That was so close. Zen too early to pick up the boost as it respawns. Unable to make contact with Moxie on the retreat. He still gets a good shot off, even out of the boost disadvantage. Early dive by Zen. Moxie's bumped Zen away from the play here after Zen challenged. Still control for Moxie, trying to open the score lead to two again. Top left flick, saved by Zen. Recovery is good. And now here comes the interception, but Moxie denies it. Great first touch. Again, taking the ball to the back of his half of the pitch. And Zen is afraid to commit here. Moxie's hit him on the counter already this game. And he's got another opening to do that. Great shot by Moxie. Zen punished for overextending. And you can see the desperation from Zen. Moxie's just sitting behind the ball in defense. Zen knows if he doesn't do something, Moxie is just going to control the ball for the remainder of the game. But he did pick his spot wisely there. Moxie took it away from him. That's a good kick off though by Zen. Out muscles Moxie in the race to the boost. Oh, what a flip reset as well. That one needed to be delicate. If Zen hits the bar from this angle, the ball clears itself. But he perfectly gets it over Moxie and under the bar. And gets it back to a one goal difference once again. But Zen needs the ball. If Moxie gets ball control, he will just about have won the game and it looks like he will have control of this one. Oh, Zen finds an opening though. 50-50, almost on target. It's bounced off the post and upwards. And Moxie will have a chance to control the ball here. This is not ideal for Zen. He's trying to get the ball off Moxie here, but Moxie is just too clinical. Creates a shooting angle and takes it immediately. Brilliant setup by Moxie, had no boost. But a wall dash and a wave dash makes up for the boost disadvantage. Kickoff goal or bust for Zen in game three. He's not had many direct kickoff goals in this matchup. This actually could be one though. He's got to flick quickly. He's not going to. It's going to be game for Moxie. Double match point to the guy who is looking to defend his stage one win. Zen fighting bravely, but it's mostly Moxie who's controlling the outcome of the series here. Tons of, uh, tons of possession there for Moxie, even though a lot of it's in his half of the field. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from this series before we uh, get into the next games. We've got some bangers to show to you guys if you have just tuned in. There have been some world-class goals, as you would expect, from a matchup like this. Um, and also, as always with the first highlights of any match, shout out to the Chalked Cast, the official podcast of Salt Mine 3. Uh, we had teammates on yesterday discussing league play format. Um, and yeah, it was great to catch up with teammates again. So definitely check that one out. It goes up on YouTube tonight, the 21st of November. So I would 100% uh, recommend you guys check out that conversation. Always good to talk to teammates and uh, the rest of the, the gang, CJ and Rizzo. And uh, yeah, use exclamation mark chalked in Twitch chat or the YouTube description link to find the Discord if you want to join the community. Um, it looks like Khaled and Vatira is still in game three there as we enter game four between Moxie and Zen. Very, very close games there between Khaled and Vatira. Khaled leads by two, but it sounds like every uh, every game's gone to OT. Uh, no, sorry, the first game was 8-4 for Khaled, so I stand corrected. Second game and third game, though, both went to overtime in that match. We've had uh, game five to start off today. Will we have another one? Not that Moxie has anything to say about it. And Khaled sweeps Fatira, no way. Revenge for Khaled, perfect revenge actually. As he eliminates Fatira in the exact same spot as Fatira eliminated him in the previous round of the competition. That blows the top eight race wide open in Europe. There are now nine players who are very much in contention of uh, getting those top eight spots in points. 
and qualifying for the Salt Mine 3 EU Finals. Slow air dribble by Zen. Huge save by Moxie, though. So important for Moxie that not only does he save this, but he plays the ball into a safe position. Very often, these slow air dribbles result in saves that don't really go anywhere. Moxie got a lot of force on that one. In that uh, side of the bracket, by the way, it's going to be James Bot following Khaled into his next round against TRK. Khaled could avenge his loss to TRK as well and really roll back the years to make top four. I mean, a lot of people have been counting Khaled out saying he doesn't have a chance in this tournament, but he's made top eight in stage one, now top six in stage two. He's still in stage two, could progress even further. Amazing longevity by Khaled in the most stacked era that 1v1's ever seen. Four years after his salt mine one victory. But while all that's happening, Moxie's running up the score here. Zen's been impressive in the matchup, but Moxie might have saved the best to last. 5 0 inside one minute. And it's like I said earlier, does anyone convert on kickoff possessions quite like this guy? So difficult to dispossess, so strong with the 50-50s. Such a threatening flick, regardless of the boost total, regardless of momentum. And speaking of momentum, Moxie's got plenty where that came from. Luckily for Zen, he does have a lot of time to get back in the game. But this is an elimination match. If Zen loses this, he will be out early in the tournament. And he will be far from safe. Far from guaranteed a top four seed going into Salt Mine 3 EU finals. It's Moxie again. It's 6 0. He is absolutely destroying Zen. Wave dash and a pop. Clean out plays. What a dominant display by Moxie. This one has happened so fast. Hardly had time to build up this game, and already Moxie is running away with it. 65% possession for Moxie. He's just had clinical plays every single time he gets a small advantage. It's turned into a goal. The other side of the pitch, Zen is struggling to really get anything going. Moxie shuts him down one more time. Can he make it seven with another ground play? It's going to be a pop. Zen saves it. The counter-attack is on here. Zen off the sidewall. Great setup by him. Air dribble dunk. Denied by Moxie. He is an absolute brick wall. This is frustrating for Zen, but he's got an open net to work with here. Has to be quick with it, and it looks like he is. Great placement. Zen gets on the board. Still a long time left in this game. And in positions like this, Zen just has to believe. He has to remind himself that he is Zen. He could do things no one else can do. And if he can get a comeback here, that would, of course, Swing the game so far in his favor, swing the momentum so far in his favor that going into game five, the ace match, surely he'd be the favorite. Oh my goodness, Zed. He can't get the conversion despite almost perfectly flicking initially on target. It goes off one post and then off the other post and Moxie makes it 7-1. Well, that one's going to be a tilter for Zen. He outplayed Moxie, but he got outplayed by the upright. Still half the game to go though. Six goal gaps have been closed in the past. Well, Moxie's just too quick, though. He knows Zen's challenging. Takes the ball over him, and Zen calls GG's. 8-1 is too much. And, you know, as soon as he reached halftime, Zen probably decided it's time to just go all in. And Moxie knew that was coming. What an expert. He destroys Zen, eliminates him from the competition, and continues into the next round to face another of his greatest rivals, Rawas. Well, let's take another look at some of those highlights. So we just saw some of these a moment ago, but weren't, we didn't really have long <laughs> to play in that next game because Moxie just disposed of Zen so easily in game four. But overall, I think Zen did do a lot of things a lot better uh, than the last time he played against Moxie. He mixed up the kickoffs especially well in games two and three, even the end of game one. That's really important for Zen in this matchup. 
Um, I think he got a bit of his mojo back with the aerial game. But uh, yeah, definitely more more uh, of, a, of, a, of a top gear performance needed from Zen in the last stage of the competition if he's going to be a contender. Obviously, he's a, he is a contender, but if he's going to be as much of a contender as we think he will be, um, yeah, he needs to produce his best. So that was not his best in this tournament. I think Zen definitely struggled fourth place in Group A. 3-1 to Moxie. I mean, uh, uh, good good games in game one, two, and three, especially games two and three. But uh, overall, Moxie did feel like he was asserting his uh, authority on Zen there uh, for most of the series. And Khaled advances as well. So we've only got one Frenchman left. Uh, Vatira disposed of by Khaled. Great result there by Khaled. Uh, let's take a look at what that does to the overall point standings because Vatira and Khaled are actually now tied. They both eliminated each other in the quarterfinal in Stage 1 and Stage 3, respectively. Uh, that puts Khaled and Vatira and Rally on five points. Now, Khaled is ahead of Vatira because he got those points more recently. Um, but yeah, Vatira can obviously fight back in Stage 3. That's probably going to decide between them who finishes ahead. Drally's still in the competition as well. Um, so he can add to those five points. Now, Poe is not, so he can't add to the six he's got. TRK and Nas can add to the six they've got. Zen stuck on 10. So he's at the mercy of uh, Nas, Rawas, TRK, uh, Drally, even Khaled, who can catch up to him. But Moxie running away with it. He's already confirmed for the uh, final playoff, the Salt Mine 3 EU finals. Uh, 12 points is the cutoff point for that. Zen's going to need to wait until stage 3 to lock that in. He'll need uh, to get two points in stage 3 uh, or, or some other results going his favor um, in order to lock in the, uh, the, the top 8 seed there. But Moxie could lock in a top 4 seed today, which is also important as well. Um, yeah, lots more to play for here today. Khaled uh, up against TRK next on James Bond stream. Khaled has already caught up to Vatira. He can leapfrog TRK in the standings as well uh, by avenging his group stage loss to TRK um, in the semi-final. Um, and up next on my channel right here is going to be Moxie versus Rawas. So an another uh, episode in one of the most played rivalries in 1v1 history.